Well, here we are today at Flamingo Land! And we're not going in. Because it's just about to start pissing down for rain and it's 44 quid a ticket. Let's go somewhere else. There it goes, it's sick. Absolutely blowing a gale. Not sure there's anyone on it. Yeah, there is, screaming. Oh my god, there's three people on it. Corkscrew. And the inversions. Oh. Oh, Sadly, it does look good. Am I prepared to pay 44 quid to go on it in the wind and rain? And that's the question. And the answer is no! God! I stand corrected. 50 seats! Yeah, it's a shame really, because there's only about 50 cars in the car park. So... There's not many people in there. But this weather... Ugh. Ugh. If it was a nice sunny summer's day, then I don't know, I might consider it. But 56 quid! 56 quid! Jesus. No, I think I'll, uh, I'll be coming with Katie later in the year. It's a lot of money to be spending on your own. And I did drape a manor on my own, I tried to make it entertaining, but you've got nobody to bounce off. So, uh, literally around some of them coasters. So, yeah, I guess we'll just have to uh, leave Flamingo Land for today. Anyway, it's probably for the best, as I'll probably only get stuck in the Zoom cars again. I couldn't get my legs out. I was trapped, I was too big. Right, onwards to the pub in Crofton. <laughs> yes, pub, lots of beer. Lots of beer this weekend. That's why I've come up a day before me uh, brother arrives. So I can check it out first. Yeah, I just wish the weather was better. Never mind, onwards! Well, there you go. You know in the North Yorkshire Walls when RAF jets are passing overhead? Well, there we are, over the noise of the Royal Air Force. In Cropton, we've already had four pints. It's very nice, very good beer, very, very good beer. Nice little beer garden out here. So, my room is that one just behind there. So, I'm going to get all my junk out of the car and I'll show you the room. So, you're in Yorkshire, tractor. <laughs> Nice art on the walls. And there we go. Isn't that a lovely room? Yes, it is. A cupboard here. Oh, it's not a cupboard, it's a toilet. And wash basin. I thought it was a wardrobe. <laughs> There's the double bed for me. Oh, what's in there? Jacuzzi. Oh no, that is the wardrobe. Right, okay. <laughs> TV. Coffee making facilities. Table and chairs. I've got to put my laptop on there tonight. Play a bit of uh, Tom Clancy Ghost Recon. Yes, oh, that's very nice. A little poofy. 
and then ooh, more wooden doors into a big walk-in electric shower. Very nice. There we go. So a partial view out the window. Oh yeah, there we go. North Yorkshire Moors over there. Yes, very nice. <laughs> I've got my backpack on. <laughs> Lovely. So I'll be able to have a little nap. Sleep off these four pints of was it four or five? I think it was five pints. Five pints of beer. Then we're gonna have for dinner later. <laughs> Well, they were the best ribs I've had in a long time. A very long time. Did you really hang where you could buy that for? You can have it. Yeah, I mean, that's yummy. Oh, while I'm outside having a vape, I might as well say that's my room. Those two windows there. <laughs> Well, what a lovely day in this little sun trap. It's brilliant. Right, we've just been on the brewery tour. There's a little shop. And uh, we've had a few little tasters. One of them was absolutely diabolical, tasted like drain cleaner. So steer clear of the, the raspberry cider. Oh, it tasted like some, you know when you throw up in your mouth? <laughs> and your mouth fills up with puke and it, yeah, tastes a bit like that. So Simon's on the mango cider, not the raspberry one. I've got myself a nice pint of Yorkshire Classic. He's gone upstairs to get his jabber, because his blood sugar's shooting up through the roof. <laughs> so we've just been having a look at the tour menu. It's a smaller, reduced version of the main menu. Soup, duck and orange pate, haddock and thyme fish cakes, creamy garlic mushrooms, steak now pie, which you haven't got any of, so it's chicken pie. Fish and chips, which I had the other night, burger, Yorkshire pudding wrap, mmm, and uh, a vegetable hot pot. Let's go right back later, but for now, let's see having some beers in the sun. Cheers. Well, boys and girls, we're back. Turn right. You have reached your destination. I certainly have. <laughs> well, looks like one of the first here. Opens in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, that looks like all staff cars at the back. So I think there might be a few uh, straight on the rides. I don't think there's going to be any queues today. Well, there's no queues, nobody in the car park. We're first in, which is pretty sick. Get a view straight down the Heartline Rolls. Oh, I can't wait to go on that. Short but sweet. Oh, my ass was out of the seat, upside down. 
Jesus. That is good. Katie will like that. I'm bringing you Katie later in the year, don't you worry. That was sick, boy! World's most uncomfortable roller coaster, hero. Yeah, it's not pleasant. This is weird when you come to a theme park and you're the only person here. None of the rides are going here. There's only staff walking around. It's just deserted. Right, it's going to be from Rome Velocity then. velocity is as good as ever. <laughs> it's so much different with sick being next to it, uh, right next to the track. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I love that ride. I love that ride. Right, let's go and see what else to go on. I don't think I'm going to go on here. No, probably not. I don't like the laying down on my stomach idea. Now I've got a very much larger stomach. <laughs> oh, velocity's off. Missed it. <laughs> there he goes. It's probably one of the most uncomfortable roller coasters I've ever ridden that. Or you can eat pizza, pasta and salad buffet. $16.95. Closed for now. Open at 12 o'clock on Friday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> it sounds like Mumbo Jumbo's off up. Side turn. Ugh. Very good. <laughs> used to hold a Guinness World Record for the steepest roller coaster in the world for that drop there. Well, as it's starting to rain a little bit, I think I might as well join the no queue for Kamali. <laughs> Well, I don't know if that's had a retrack in the last eight years. Or any work done to it, but it's a lot less head banging than it was the first time I went on it. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs>
quite smooth actually, relatively smooth. Nice. Either that or my fat is more cushioning. That's probably it. Now I remember coming here as a little kid, I think it was back in 1984, I was about 12. And I can actually remember running round inside this fort. Yeah. Well, the few memories I've got from my first ever visit to Flamingo and <laughs> Yeah, that was fun as a kid. So onwards to the Lost River Ride, which looks to have been lost. Pulling it all down. What a shame. Oh, and for that reason, the trains are closed as well. So there's no choo-choo. They're definitely bringing concrete in for something now. See them pouring concrete in there. Footings for a new coaster maybe? Mmm, interesting. I've just noticed this fort is now an outdoor laser tag. Called Crazy Combat. Yeah, as it's only about 10 degrees Celsius today. There's not going to be many people running through the fountains, I don't think. <laughs> There's Flip Flop that makes us sick, so I won't be going on that. And nor will I be going on that. No, thank you. Not a chance. Well, at least Katie will be happy. Temporarily unavailable. You wouldn't have had to go on it anyway, Kate. And yeah, they're definitely pouring concrete of some description into there. Where the Lost River ride was. Quite a bit of activity. Be interesting to see what goes in there. Okay, this is Zoom. The last time I went on this, I couldn't get out the bloody car, they had to prise me out. So if you're over 5 foot 11, <laughs> with long legs, yeah, Zoom's probably not a good idea. I was very close to calling out rescue services to cut it open like a car accident. Ah, the dino coaster. Yes, me and Katie got stuck on that for about 10 minutes. <laughs> It does appear to be a kind of theme here with me getting stuck on things at Flamingo Land. <laughs> what do you mean because I'm so fat? Those four outline rolls. Well, I've been here an hour and it's still walk on, so I'm going for a back row ride. just noticed the station is a huge black and white Union flag. <laughs> well, I never spotted that. Well the rain started now so it's a very short visit to Flamingo Land. I will get drunk and buy tickets to things won't I? So anyway, <laughs> sober now it's the next day. So yeah have a sick time short time at Flamingo Land. Uh, I won't be staying for any of the shows on the on the boat or anything so I've got a three and a half hour drive back to Birmingham now. Lucky me. So goodbye from Mingo Land. Well I've timed that pit stop right. It's just started hailstoning. <laughs> yeah, you know, the extra in Leeds is massive in there. I didn't think to film anything. Right. Let's hit the road in the hail jack. Woohoo! <laughs>